we all go through this. Um, we buy this beautiful fruit and um, you know, there's a, there's a shelf life to it because it's fresh, but we want to utilize every single piece of it. So if the berries start to go, let's say we have some blackberries, some blueberries, some strawberries, you can either make like a jam or like a preserve to kind of serve like with cheeses or with on toast or something like that. Or you can make something a little, like a touch more elaborate. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. There's a couple of little ingredients here. So what I do is I take my, um, my strawberries that are kind of on its, on its way out, some of the, uh, some blueberries, some blackberries, you know, they just started getting a little bit like kind of a little tired. Didn't want to use them as sort of fresh berries on top of my yogurt, etc. I want to bring them back to life a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit of cinnamon, one of my favorite spices. So we're going to sprinkle some cinnamon on there and then uh, some sugar. Not too much because, you know, these, these have their own natural sweetness. And then a vanilla bean. Now, I actually have a vanilla bean in my cupboard. If you don't, um, it's not the end of the world. There's certainly some vanilla extract in there. I know it's probably three years old and you haven't seen it in a while, but go into your cupboard and go grab your vanilla extract if, if you haven't seen it. But in this case, I'm gonna take some vanilla bean and just put it right into the fruit. So basically what you do is you split the vanilla bean down the center, just like that. And you open it up and you expose the, uh, the beans. And then you take the back of your knife and just force it out. And the vanilla is right on there. All those vanilla seeds come right out. Vanilla is definitely one of my favorite flavors. Then I'm going to take a little bit of lemon juice. Again, not a lot. We don't want this to taste like a lemon dessert. Just kind of really kind of brightens up the, uh, the flavors of the berries. So maybe like half a lemon. And then I always have sherry around in my house. One of the things that I like to drink after dinner, I've had a lot of uh, Mediterranean Spanish restaurants where we like to serve sherry, just a kind of like a splash of sherry in there. Um, just kind of gives it a little more of a dimension. If you don't have sherry, that's okay. Even like some port, you know, there's like a bottle of port that you opened like a few months ago, you know, sort of a late night, you got had, had a few cocktails and then you open the port because you wanted a little fortified wine kind of after dinner situation. Well, you can still go back to that port pop open the cork and put a splash of the port right into the, uh, into the berries. It works really nicely. So we're gonna take all these berries, the cinnamon, the vanilla, the sugar, and that little splash of sherry, little lemon juice. And we're gonna put this right into a baking dish. Now, you can see this, this is a big baking dish, but I want the berries to basically have one layer across. And the reason why I want to do that is because if this was like half the size, I would then have to stack the berries on top of each other. And then they would, they would sort of steam. I want to give a, get a little bit of a roasted texture to these. Um, I mean, they're going to soften a little bit, but I just, I, this way I know that they're all going to cook nice and evenly. Let's go to the oven. This is 400 degrees, preheated oven. But before we put it in the oven, a little splash of olive oil. I love that little sort of savory fruitiness that the olive oil brings out. Okay, put this in the oven. 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. See you then. 15, 20 minutes is really, I think about the right time. I mean, we do want it to have, have keep some of its texture. You can see the, the, the fruits are now roasted, but they, you can still tell like that's a blackberry, that's a strawberry, that's a blueberry. We don't want them to sort of roast into, you know, the place where you can't even distinguish what the berries are. I'm gonna give it a little texture. This, and this is just gonna really sort of give it new life. After you take the fruits out of the oven to roast, um, you can eat them as, as is if you'd like. I like to serve them in things like Greek yogurt or some ice cream or some ricotta cheese. I had some fresh ricotta cheese in the refrigerator. Whenever I buy ricotta cheese, I always buy it to like make a pasta or put on some bread. I always have so much left over. So ricotta cheese is actually a good thing to do. So I just put it uh, very quickly in my freezer to cool it down quickly. I don't want to leave it in there very long. You can just put it in your refrigerator if you're worried about sort of freezing the fruit. Although it wouldn't be that bad idea either. So what I do is I take a little bit of, of the um, ricotta cheese. I guess it would work on cottage cheese too. Sort of the same sort of idea. And then we just take some of the fruits 
and its juices and just put it right on top. This is a really nice dessert. I always like I always always have a hard time trying to figure out what I'm going to what I'm going to do for dessert cuz I don't really like to to bake a lot of things. Like you won't see me baking a lot of cakes. Um, and if I bake a cake, it's like the same cake that I bake over and over, which is like an olive oil cake because it's so simple and I know that the recipe works. But I really like things like this. If you want to, you could put, you know, I'm, I love honey so much, so I, I kind of put it on everything just to kind of bring the, uh, the ricotta cheese and the roasted fruits together. And there you go. You've saved some fruits. You've rescued those fruits from despair. And here they are in some ricotta cheese.